Our first athlete of the day is the teenage prodigy, Victoria Lee, coming off her successful second appearance in one championship with a first round finish. Victoria, thank you so much for joining us again. How are you feeling right now? I'm feeling great. I feel oh, so many mixed emotions, but I'm really happy right now. <laughs> we saw those emotions. You were tearing up a little bit. What was going through your mind when you got your hand raised? As soon as the match was over, it was like a huge wave of relief and just a sense of like, just a feeling of all my hard work literally just paying off. And, and it was an amazing feeling. It was indescribable, really. Victoria, we have a question here now from Dylan Bowker of My MMA News. I'm just curious because like we were talking before this fight and you were saying that while seeing some of your siblings' previous fights gave you a level of familiarity for like what goes on during fight week, you were saying being the one in the hot seat, definitely a different kind of situation. I'm kind of wondering, was that like post-fight expression one of the more, I guess, powerful instances of that where... Because you were saying before, like, you kind of, like, were teasing your siblings about crying in the one circle, but now that you're in the heat of the moment, like, was there a powerful sense of, like, okay, yeah, this feels a lot different than seeing my siblings do it? Definitely. I mean, you would never think, right? Like, why would you cry after a fight? But it's not until you're literally, you've literally put in the hours on the mat training and it seeing it all just come together and having your hard work pay off, it just... It's a huge wave that hits you. You don't see it coming. And just as a quick follow-up, if I could, because you pretty much called your shot. You got the first round finish. I thought you really showed a comprehensive skill set in a number of regards. Was this the most, I guess, fully realized comprehensive performance you could have hoped for? I think I performed well this match because I was able to stick to the game plan. And it was just to go in there, you know, and, and I'm really happy that I was able to stick to the game plan this fight. Thank you for that question, Dylan. Our next question will go to Faris Farhan of Singapore Strike Sports. Seeing me back to Singapore the second time, I guess this is quite an emotional fight for you because you have your mom and dad with you right now. Um, how does it feel that um, with uh, fighting for the second time different from the first time? What's the difference do you think it is? I think that going into this second match I feel a lot more familiar with the entire process of the fight and I was able to stay a lot more calm leading up to the fight and I think being able to stay calm and keep my composure really helped me to you know focus and and remember what I'm supposed to do once the bell rings and the match starts. Uh, one last question do you think in the future you might want to change your name uh, from the prodigy to something else or are you still sticking with the prodigy? I think I'm going to stick with it. <laughs> Victoria, tell us about the advice that your brother and your sister gave you before you walked out today. I was able to um, speak with my brother and sister on um, FaceTime before my match today and um, they were just giving me words of advice that they've told me before, but just reminders to, you know, stay calm, stay focused, and stick to the game plan. And, and those valuable words really helped me. Something that we noticed was the warrior pose that your brother uses as well. Is that something that you both share? Or is it something that you picked up from your brother? Um, well, it's not really a pose. It's something that my parents have taught us just to control our breathing. Um, it helps clear your mind, um, calm the nerves, and just you know, focus, center yourself before, before the match. And, and um, it's something that helps my brother and it's something that really helps me as well. It's, so we just use it as, as a form to clear our minds, not necessarily as like a pose. We have a question here from Fight Game Asia. And the question was this, your wrestling and grappling looked amazing. How do you think you stack up on the ground compared to the rest of the division? Um, I was really... Uh, really happy that I was able to showcase more of my skills this fight. I think that I've made a lot of improvements since my last match, and I'm going to keep improving, keep tightening up my game until, um, and just keep becoming a better fighter, I guess. <laughs> You're two bouts in now into your one championship career. Is there anyone you have set your eyes on? No, I, I don't know. I'm ready. Uh, sorry. I'm just training, training hard and improving my skills and, 
and I just want to stay active and compete as often as I can against whoever. I'm not calling out any names. <laughs> it seemed to be the game plan was clear, pressure, get it to the ground. And once you took it to the ground, your control was amazing. Was that your game plan all along? Yep. The game plan was to just get in there and finish it as quick as possible. <laughs> Our next question here is from Manish Kadam of Times of India. Uh, you transitioned through so many different submissions in such a short time. Uh, do you have a preferred submission? The game plan for this, um, the, the preferred submission for this fight was a top triangle, but but um, I had to keep chaining between that and, the, and look for the opportunities that presented itself in the moment, which ended up being the arm bar. Do you have any post-fight celebration? Um things that you like to do like what do you do when you first get home um as soon as we got back to the hotel we started ordering food uh, <laughs> i really was craving a crispy cream donut but wow. crispy cream is closed right now so i guess i'll have to order that tomorrow <laughs> but we just have a meal with my family with my mom and dad in the hotel room and then and then um yeah, that's it. Oh, wait. And then I call, sorry. <laughs> as soon as we get back to the hotel room, I call the rest of my family and then we have a meal. <laughs> what are they like? Do they critique you? They tell you you can dump better or they tell you a fantastic job? No, my family is so supportive of me. They tell me they're so proud of me and it's so nice. They they stayed up. It's like 2, 2.30 a.m. in Hawaii and they, they stayed up and and so just to watch my fight, even though they have like training in class tomorrow morning. So it's, it's really nice to have that support as well as my grandparents in Canada. They stay up. It's like six o'clock in the morning right now. And it's so nice to be able to talk to them. This next question goes to Ivan Stewart Saldas, general of Dugout Philippines. Ivan, please go ahead. So although you said earlier that you want to, you're just gonna wait for whoever one brings you. Do you, do you think, do you consider yourself, are you envision yourself that, that you're gonna be a world champion at your young age after going to NO? I think that my goal is definitely to become a world champion one day, but I'm early in my career, I'm just starting and I'm focused on just having as much experience as possible, taking as many fights as I can. And I'm not, I'm not um, looking to rush the process. Victoria, how quickly do you want to get back into the circle? I'm good to go. <laughs> uh, it doesn't, uh, I don't know. I'm, I leave that up to my, my dad, my coach. Something that they just announced, the Adamway Grand Prix happening in September. Give us your thoughts on that one. I can't wait for that to start. I think a lot of people are really excited for that. Um, definitely we'll be watching it closely as as they're the top people in the atom weight division. And I think it's gonna there's gonna be a lot of exciting matches. Are you picking any favorites? There's been a few switch ups in in um who's actually in the Grand Prix, but I think some of the heavy favorites are like may who may come out on top is um so Siohi Ham or Mingo. Victoria, this next question now goes to Dylan Bauker of My MMA News. I'm just curious because it seems like there's less of a focus on like specific callouts in terms of opponents and more individual refinement. I'm kind of wondering to that point, like, do you have, I guess, defined goals set in place to like continue your growth as a martial artist, Victoria? Um, my goal as a martial artist is just to keep improving, keep training every day and and upping my skill set and and taking as many fights as I can to to build up the experience and and eventually my goal is to become a world champion one day so that's just the process leading up to it and I'm not like planning on rushing it or break trying to break more records or anything like that I'm curious if you were able to see the fight between Ritu Fogad and Lin Hutchin, just being that it's a fight within your division there? Oh, I haven't been able to see it yet. Um, we just got back to the hotel and she, I think she was up right after me. Victoria, any last words for your fans? Last words to the fans. I hope you guys enjoyed um, watching my fight and, <laughs> and uh, know that I'll just be training hard and improving my skills so I can put out an even better performance for my next fight.